Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick video today uh, just about um, caring for your lipo packs, hopefully to make them last longer, perform better, um, probably even look better, I guess, um, <clears throat> in the way of damage or puffing. So um, one of the first things I would suggest is always balance charging. Um, just to make sure you can keep an eye on your cells, make sure it's always balanced. I mean, if, if one or two cells or depending on what your pack is, this is a 4S, however many, one gets too far out of whack, um, battery's not gonna charge right, not gonna perform the same. Um, so balance charging, it's simple. It really doesn't make a difference. It's, it's, um, it's not gonna slow you down any, it's just better off for your packs. Um, another thing, when you're done at the end of the day, always storage charge your packs. Um, if you run a, a, a main, and especially like <clears throat> this 4S, I run eight scale, you run 10 minute mains. Um, luckily this pack wasn't really low after a 10 minute main, but sometimes they can be pretty low and you don't wanna put them away fully charged and you don't wanna put them away uh, almost dead. If they're, if they're stored in a, in a warm area uh, and it's a full pack, that's not good. If the pack's almost dead and it's, and it's stored uh, maybe in a garage or something in the cold, it's, it's gonna be bad, it's gonna end up puffing. So, um, and, and other, another th thing you can do is uh, something like this is a fairly cheap tool. And um, I think it's like $20, you can get it. It comes in real handy. It does a few things, but primarily I'll just use it to check packs real quick. It's, it's really easy. Just plug in the balance port and you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it's around 388, 389 per cell. So when you storage, you're gonna want between 3.8 and 3.9. Obviously balanced, you want, if they're all, if 3.85, you want them all 3.85 or very close to that area. So that's a nice tool to have just to check. Obviously most chargers, you can check that too, um, just to get a visual or while you're charging. So um, another thing I wanted to show you or talk about <clears throat> is always pay attention to your packs, make sure that they're not puffing, uh, make sure there's nothing busted in the case. Um, if the, if the, this is my opinion, I know it can get expensive, but if it's, if the case is puffed up and it feels kind of like jello when you squeeze it, uh, there's breaking within here, um, I would get rid of the pack. I, I know it sucks and it's expensive, but it's just, it's just not worth it. But if you take care of your packs, always balance, always storage, pay close attention to all your cells, you, you shouldn't have an issue. Um, but anything damaged, anything that's kind of sketchy, it's, it's just not worth it. Um, and then a few other tips. When I'm, when I'm done at the end of the day, I always carry Q-tips with me. Um, spray a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip, and then you can go into the, the holes for the plugs. I, I turn it upside down and do it, and clean that out with alcohol, flip it over, and dry it out. Do both that way um, to keep those clean. Also, on your plugs, you're gonna to wanna to keep that clean. Just wipe it off with a towel once in a while, maybe some alcohol um, or some window cleaner, but it, probably whatever you got handy and, and just wipe that down good. And another thing I do on these, on, on the vehicle, it's not necessarily for your charging um, leads or anything like that, but when it's in the vehicle, if you look close, you can see that I have two O-rings on there. And what I, what, the reason I do that is when you plug it in in the car, you're gonna to wanna to plug it in and then push it down hard. And basically it creates a seal. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's one yellow and one black O-ring on there. And it creates a seal, so it's a, it's a lot more difficult for dirt to get in there. I'm sure you guys have pulled those out and you can just feel the, the gritty dirt and everything that's in there. And to, to avoid that, you can basically create a, a seal or a gasket, I guess you can call it just like that. And it definitely helps out a ton. So costs almost nothing, a couple little miscellaneous O-rings, slide them on there, and you're good to go. Um, so other than that, yeah, uh, should be good. Try to keep that clean. Clean them regularly with a Q-tip, seal them off with an O-ring on the, uh, on the uh, bullet connectors, and pay attention to your cells. Even when you're at the track and you're sitting there and you're, you're BSing with your buddies and stuff, just take a look at, at, at your screen on your charger and, and make sure everything's all right. Um, you know, sometimes batteries got out of whack, guys try to save them, charge them on nickel metal mode or whatever. If, 
again, I know it sucks, it's expensive, but if you get to that point, just move on from the battery, uh, save yourself a lot of trouble. But these tips right here um, should save you from that. Shouldn't see puffing, keep this stuff clean and uh, your battery should be good for a long time. So, all right guys, I hope that helps. Um, I'm no pro, that's just what I do, seems to work. Hope it helps you guys, thanks.